Our connection with Daltone House was my mum and dad, Dolly and Tony, that's where the Daltone came from, set up Daltone House. Well, we dreamed all for many, many years, over 20 years of building a wedding reception place. It was our dream. He was a pastry cook chef and we loved working together. We just wanted something that people would remember. All the people that worked there were part of our family. It was Dalton House, but it was a home and it was a family to all our staff members. I know that the Signorelli family, they will work very hard, the same as we did, and it will just be a pleasure. And I'm sure they will go on and on to bigger and better things. And I asked uh, Baggio actually at the time and Paul, you know, what were you going to call it? They both looked at Jeff and I and they went, Daltone House. And I said, oh, really? And their answer was, it's got such a great name and a fantastic reputation. Why would we want to change it? Dalton House has become a household brand. I mean, there's nowhere I go around the world, interstate, locally, that people go, Dalton House, I've been there. Dalton House, oh, I know there. And, and I love that. That, that. Those two words are in me now. It's, it's almost like um, the Signorelli family and Dalton House has become almost like the one name in the one sentence. To see the vision that the, the Signorelli family has from 25 years ago to today, what it has evolved into is totally amazing and uh, I'm extremely proud. The first thing I heard about Paul was, I don't know, it was 98, 99, I had one of my guys coming in to me saying he was being pestered by this Italian kid wanting to uh, put, a, put a function centre or something in, 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 uh, in the old temporary casino. So, uh, no, so eventually we ran a tender and Paul won. At the former casino site and the tender that we won for the year 2000, the year of Sydney Olympics, and then to be housed where the Sydney Olympics Media Centre was going to be, and we were catering for the Sydney Olympics Games, Paralympics, as well as the entire media, it was quite surreal. Well, I think in terms of all their properties, be it Jones Bay Wharf, Darling Island, Hyde Park, you know, they've been presented with opportunities to um, rejuvenate those properties. And James Bay Wharf's a classic case. It's a, it's, a heritage, it's a heritage building. And the work that they've done here uh, has been amazing in terms of the type of facilities that they offer. Looking at a hollow room, there was that fear that made you, I suppose, um, you, you, you develop another new strength. Every day, it was scary. But as we started and we got the momentum going, we, um, we saw, wow, this was the right move. The hero days of Sylvania Waters, now we're coming to the city on the beautiful harbour, um, the best location in the world. I used to walk around one venue, then I started walking around two venues. Now I walk around three venues, four venues. We're on to our fifth. I'm quite proud that we've got um, equal gender at Dalton House. All in all, you sort of pinch yourself and say, wow, um, I am proud. We are proud of what we've achieved. The main reasons why Dalton House is so successful, because it's a family business. The future is really bright, I think, for a, for a business like Dalton House. I've seen it as a business that is prepared to change, preempt market moves, but also to respond to, to changing customer needs. A lot of training goes into making sure that you've got a, a high level of service and so Dalton House really sets that benchmark. It's been a, a, a lasting impact, uh, the whole family, Paul, his sisters, uh, what they've done with in the, in the functions and events space for Sydney, they've taken it to another level. Their venues are world class and I have to say their restaurant, their, their food and catering is exceptional as well. So that makes up the value proposition of a competitive bid uh, when you're competing against the best in the world. The contribution is to they've increased the level of service, the food quality in all establishments around Sydney. Our, our competitors are always watching what we're doing and we're lifting the bar. When you come to a Dalton event, You've got a whole team working with your event, um, and it really does show, you, you just look at you know, any social media of the events that have 
been at Dalton House and they always look amazing, particularly with their philanthropy and their, their, their own charities that they work with. Um, just again, coming back to their values, it's that integrity, um, that you know who you're working with and you, you know Dalton House. Philanthropy is something that my father was always in his mind to give to people that are unfortunate. We have probably about 150 charities that we support. Um, we held an event last year, well over 2,500 people in one room with a dinner. Um, I believe it's Australia's largest sit-down, four-course dinner in one sitting. Um, we raised over a million dollars in that, in that event. Thank you to the Signorelli family for the great work they do giving back to our community. Yes, they host our wonderful events, but they are very generous in their giving to many good causes. Not only the Family's Own Foundation, but you can count on their support every time you ask for help. And that makes them good corporate citizens. And for that, I think they should be honoured. Well, it's hard to be in Sydney and not have a connection to Dalton House. All of us have family members who've had functions there, uh, charities, professional events, party political events. Um, to be part of the Sydney fabric is to know what Dalton House is like and uh, that's how I feel, it's part of the fabric of Sydney. I think there is already a family legacy because of the hard work put in by Biagio and indeed his lovely wife and it will go for decades because you don't set up an empire like this easily. Uh, Paul, Nina and Anna have set a similar legacy where they are highly respected for their work in the community and devotion to charitable endeavours. I hope the family today is getting a sense of the deep appreciation that we as a community have for your entire family and how you have served us so, so faithfully and, and, and so honourably. I go to a lot of event places all around the country, but I can tell you none better Daltone. And Daltone betters, I'd have to say, that's the standard. You know, whatever the client wants, you know, the client will definitely receive, um, if not beyond their expectation. And look, we strive to exceed expectations every day. I think the vision for me, no matter what we do in relation to a new product, or new people, or new process, it's about keeping the brand true to who we are and not losing sight of the values that we represent. Um, Dalton House and the Signorelli family. My most proudest moment to date and for the last 25 years of Dalton House under our ownership has been that we've really maintained the brand and what it, what it stands for. In the last 50 years of Dalton House's history, there will be thousands of people that work for us, for our family, including the Stubbs family. 50 years seems a long time. In actual fact, you have contributed to our success. The staff, from the executive chefs, to the wait staff, to their council department, to the bathroom attendant, to the car park person in duty, you have all contributed to us. Um, this is a journey. We say thank you on behalf of both families, but more importantly, continue to strive on your excellence. And as the younger sibling of the Signorelli family, I too would like to congratulate my great duo, my brother Paul, for his significance in his contribution, his resilience and endurance and his vision in what Dalton House is today. And to Nina for her creativity, her warmth, her empathy and for the togetherness that she brings. And congratulations to you both. As people say, we're a great trio and I couldn't agree more. Paul and Anna, you're my right arm and my left arm and together we will walk this journey and continue to be the number one hospitality company, let's say Australia or let alone the world. Thank you to everyone. To my family, um, my wife Carmela, my children Biagio, Philippa, Santina, my mum Fina, Nina, Anna, Vin, Stephen, Genevieve, Joe Alexander, Ignatius and Julia. I want to thank you all to believe in me to take this company from today till tomorrow. I promised your grandfather, my dad, in 95 when I bought Dalton House that I want this to be a family business. And today, it is what it is. It's a family business. Um, 50 years is a long time. Our children will continue to take this business to the next level. 
and we, and myself personally, will be there to support him in any capacity. Happy 50 years Dalton House. We are so proud to be part of our grandfather's legacy.